All right, YouTube. Once again, it's Kennard Vernon Stewart here for the podcast. Talking Auburn football, go ahead and like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger or Eagle. The Auburn Tigers getting ready for the bowl matchup against Minnesota. Minnesota representing, obviously, the Big Ten. We've talked about this game uh, over and over again, different aspects, different uh, vantage points of this particular football game that we're going to continue to talk about until kickoff. Now, let's just kind of look at the college football playoff situation. We, we we talk about LSU, and how by show of hands, how many of you all thought that LSU would beat Oklahoma? Okay, everybody raised their hands, right? But how many thought that they would dominate Oklahoma the way in which they did? I, I think that's a big testament to Ed Orgeron and his staff. They've done an incredible job this year of adjusting, uh, rebranding what LSU football looks like and representing the SEC on a high level uh, to go ahead and clean up Oklahoma. That seems to be their thing. They show up to the college football playoff games, but they just can't get it done. Really much looking forward to LSU taking on Clemson. Clemson, who had a pretty much uh, was very battle-tested against Ohio State. I think Ohio State missed some opportunities. Well, I know they missed some opportunities early on especially when you're in the red zone especially against a team as talented as Clemson you really really have to take advantage of those opportunities you talk about you get nine points but in essence you leave you're leaving the possibility of 21 points on the table that's a 16 point swing Clemson won that game by six points you scored in the red zone and you're in, you know, you score in the red zone, Ohio State, and you're in the college football playoff, hopefully not to get embarrassed by the SEC representative, LSU. Now, when we look at the secondary for the Auburn Tigers, uh, they are going to be tested here against Minnesota. Minnesota has been very productive offensively this particular year. Arguably one of the more productive statistically statistical offenses in the country you talk about a team that scores 34.3 points per game and um, won 10 games in the Big Ten which is not necessarily an easy thing to do one guy you definitely going to have to look out for is quarterback Tanner Morgan Tanner Morgan is 191 for 289 he has a completion percentage of 66.1 percent he's thrown for almost 3,000 yards 10 yards per attempt, 28 touchdowns, and six interceptions. I think that's very impressive because what that shows you with Tanner Morgan is he knows how to protect the football. And also, to produce numbers like that, you have to have a pretty good offensive line, which I think these guys really do, especially on the right side. Those guys are big, averaging about 360 pounds per guy, and they really anchor that side of the football field. Also, too, from a skill position standpoint, you have uh, Rodney Smith, the running back. He has 1,094 yards. He averages about 5.2 yards per carry, eight touchdowns. Very impressed with how he has played this year. Not necessarily a, a threat catching the football out of the backfield, but still a very talented football player uh, nonetheless. Now, another thing where the, the defense for Auburn, I think, is going to be challenged is they're going to have to stay at home. Because these two receivers that Minnesota have, they're very well coached. Now, they don't frighten you with their speed. They're not like what Auburn faced against Alabama or, you know, the skill set of the guys from uh, Louisiana State University, a.k.a. LSU. But you're not a bad receiver anywhere you play, especially if you play in Power 5 football. If you're like my man Tyler Johnson who has, has 74 receptions for 1,114 yards, 1,114 yards. He averages 50, every time he touch, touches the ball, it's 15 yards. So, you know, and 11 touchdowns. Same way with his counterpart, Rashad Bateman. I really like Rashad Bateman. He kind of reminds me, not because he's number 13, but he reminds me of Chad Evans from Texas A&M from a few years ago. You know, he's not he's not going to kill you with his speed, but his fundamentals and his ability to separate 
really make him a special wide receiver. He particularly had a good football game against Penn State. So here's the thing. Auburn's defensive secondary is going to be, again, challenged. Javaris Davis, Smoke Monday, Daniel Thomas, Jeremiah Denson, Noah Igbenogany, Christian Tut. These guys are on the spot. They're not going to be able to get out of this game, you know, just showing up. Jamie and Sherwood, we're going to see how prepared this Auburn secondary is going to be against a very talented Minnesota football team from a skill position standpoint. They like to spread the ball around. They like to show various formations. They like the dig routes, just like the LSUs and the Georgias and the Alabamas of the world. They like the uh, the the uh, the quick the, the the stop and goes, and the quarterback does an incredible job of placing the ball in position to where his receivers can be successful. Now, I think Auburn is going to have a bit of an issue if this defensive line cannot continue to do what they've done all year, and that's place pressure on the quarterback. I think the defensive line is going to be just as important today as it was against LSU, against Florida, against all the, the teams that were ranked that Auburn has played. Auburn definitely has to play, continue to play lights out on defense to give themselves a chance to win uh, their 10th football game of the season, which is as, as great as Auburn's program is, it's not something that they do as often as one may think. All right, so the secondary is on the spot. Come on, Noah Igbenogany and Javaris Davis, Christian Tut. You know, they're going to be severely challenged in this particular football game, especially when you have the talent at the quarterback position that Minnesota does have, uh, especially if you have the talent at the skill position that Minnesota has and a relatively physical and effective offensive line. Once again, it's Kennard Vernon Stewart here for the podcast, talking Auburn football. Looking forward to the matchups between the skill set players for Minnesota and the secondary slash interior linebackers for Auburn. As always, guys, the Outback Bowl is in hand a couple of days away. As always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger or Eagle.